This is uh, Morten from Inkis, first day at Drupa, and it's always running, al already running a little bit late because uh, are you not going to dinner somewhere? When we are finished, maybe, yeah. Okay, I'm here with Rob from Screen. Rob, good to see you. Hi, nice. good to see you again. Last time we did it online, now we have the pleasure of seeing each yeah. other in person. The world has changed. And congratulations on your new 560 HDX. Thank you very much. It looks a little bit like a, let's say, a true press jet, right? I like, I like it. You spotted it. Well, first of all, it is the launch here of our new 520 machine. Mm -hmm. And we don't call it 520 anymore, it's called 560 now. You probably noticed that. So this line is going wider. And I like it that you notice that it, it's looking like a true press because that's what we had in mind. Yeah. We are building on our existing technology and we are building on the models that we already have in the market. So it is an upgrade with many new things, but it's good to recognize it as a true press. I recognize it for many different reasons. First of all, I mean, if we start a little bit backwards, right? Yeah. When I start seeing what comes out of the machine, yeah. that is basically what the PSP, of course, it makes money on, because we're talking about a printer that fits into the commercial segment, right? Yeah. And we can talk about specifications and all that uh, in a moment. But I mean, when I look at these kind of samples here, they're very colorful uh, on different types of substrates, uh, on uh, do you still deliver a machine that doesn't require treated paper before printing on it? 100%, 100%. We have developed this machine, at, but maybe our most unique point was that we could print straight on any conventional offset paper, yeah. gloss, uncoated, without any primer or other magic, magic trick. Yeah. And we build on that. But at the same time, I think you can say Inket is not revolution anymore, it's evolution. You build on, you build on. So for this generation, we're using new inkjet heads, a new generation, and we developed a new ink. Okay, when, when I spoke to one of your colleagues from Japan back in 2019 uh, with the 520, he said that basically you have always been picking the right print heads for the machines that you were doing. Exactly. Are you still doing that or have you developed your own now? Or? No, no, I think the main reason, let's put it different. We all, we have the technology to produce our own inkjet heads, yeah. 100%. I know you can do it, right? We can do it. Yeah. But if you use your, if you develop your own inkjet head, basically you have no other choice than using that head. Yeah. And probably for this application, this head is suitable. And for another application, we have many lines. We have the label machines, we have the high speed inkjet, but serving different markets. Yeah. So we're looking for the best solution. Yeah. Best solution doesn't mean always looking at only the print quality. It's also, it has to be reliable. Mm. It's probably even more important mm. than the final print quality. And it's funny you mention that because if you look at a show like Drupa, and we are Drupa, of course, right? Yeah. You see a lot of machines with the same print heads and still the applications, the speed, the output is so different from machine to machine. Yeah. So I guess that proves your point basically, right? I think it is. It is, you know, Screen, we, we, we are coming, let's say, we did start 120 years ago. We've yeah. got a long history. Yeah. Nowadays, we are still producing equipment for the whole graphic industry. I think in this hall, I think we are the only one who still can do CTP, who still can do all the inkjet devices, workflow, you name it, we have it. So the different output, the different results, even when you use the same heads, is telling that the head on itself is not most important. And sometimes it's customer's first question, which heads are you using? Yeah. We can tell, yeah. but it is but that is the, less important. It is less important. Yeah. The color management is extremely important. Yeah. Our name screen yeah. mentioned that already. I mean, yeah, and I would say that exactly when you mentioned the name of screen, uh, I guess that most people know that. But I mean, you have a background in, in screening process for the money uh, that was produced back in the early yeah. days, yeah. right? Exactly. And I mean, the, the red pro cameras and all that kind of thing. I mean, yeah. it's not, a, it's not, I mean, you really understand why screen is still also in CTP because it is, still yeah. part of your DNA, yeah, basically, it is. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and with CTP, we are still today the largest manufacturer in the world. You are? Okay. We're still manufacturing wow. for many other... Okay. From this. Okay, so some, that, some we don't know of, probably, some right? Some we don't know of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we did, we did the same, by the way, with the HD series in the past. Yeah. And it's always nice to talk about a new machine, so we are extremely excited yeah. about the HDX, but we will, are not stopping to continue developing the HD series. Okay, so that basically means, as you, also because when we started this interview, you talked about this as a platform. So that basically means that if you need a little bit wider machines and wider paper, exactly. this is one platform. If you still need the 520 as a platform, Absolutely. you can still choose that kind of Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Right? This will be our flagship model. Mm. Exactly as you mentioned, not everybody need to wit, 
not everybody needs the speed, yeah. not everybody needs the flagship. Yeah, yeah. So the 520 HD series, NX series, label, pack, we will continue to develop. Mm. That will not stop. But that's fantastic. Let's uh, look a little bit further on the samples then. Mm. And uh, I was just thinking because you decided, of course, to, to print this on relatively thin paper, like 130 grams, I think, yeah. or something like that, right? Yeah. But if you look at it, it is very colorful and it's a two-sided print with what looks like perfect res registration. Thank you very much. Is that like the selling arguments when you sell a high-speed inkjet printer or what is the most important thing in, in a conversation with a commercial well, printer? It, 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 it depends a little on their background. I think the quality itself nowadays is accepted. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, people say yeah, yeah. inkjet oh, yeah. is it's not. Yeah. I think the quality, and that is the same for our competitors, yeah. inkjet as a technology is accepted, the quality is accepted. But I would even say that this kind of color gamut would probably not be easy to do on an offset press, right? Yeah. Uh, my background is in offset printing, so and for, know, for a long time I yeah. said, be careful, but nowadays, yes, it absolutely yeah, is. Yeah. I and mean, because the, the precision in color here, I know that, that, of course, when you talk digital print, you have to talk more about the value proposition around digital, because it is the omni-channels, it's the fast turnaround, it's the variable data, it's all the things that we talk about. But when the day is over, we also like something that looks really pretty, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, the thing is, and that is why we keep so much focus on automation. So automation is, I would say, the key word. Quality yeah. is there, yeah. that's fine. And then it depends on your application. So yeah. if you are in pharmaceutical printing or commercial printing, you have different needs. But in the end, you want to produce consistent every day, yeah. day in, day out. Yeah. And that is where we're focusing on. When we look at the two magazines that I picked up from your yep. booth over here, again, it, it is, uh, I mean, I like this Japanese. Uh, my son is ma totally crazy with manga, yep. so I see it every day, I, I promise you. <laughs> but when you see this kind of thing here, because it's more like soft colors and uh, more like, it's like, you know, I can't remember the name in English for this, but I mean, it is like, th this is on purpose to show uh, uh, all the color capabilities exactly. of the press, of course, right? Yes. And I think, it's a, I think it's a brave choice also to show something that is not like, you know, you see a lot of nature and animals on a show like this, but here you see something that is like a real life application basically, right? Yeah, we, we, we also try to show our Japanese heritage. Yeah. So that, that is absolutely, absolutely there. Funny enough, uh, sometimes people come to the show and say, on the show it's always perfect, it's easy. It's absolutely not. You mentioned already how warm it is, humidity changing all over the day. No, but, 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 <laughs> but this is also practice in the, print, in yeah. the, in the press room. Yeah. So the way we, we are showing this is this could be your press room, yeah, yeah, this yeah. could be the press room conditions, yeah. and this is what you can do. I would, by the way, like a press room like yours because you have so much nice equipment here. We have, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yes, so, uh, Rob, when we look at uh, uh, these kind of uh, uh, products here, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, let's say the lay layman, he will probably not notice that it's printed on a screen printer, except that he likes what he see, right? Yeah. So when you sell this to the printers, who are the typical customer for a 560 HDX? I would say most of the time now it are commercial printers, but at the same time, what is the definition of a commercial printer? It varies, what, right? Yeah. So, so, but what we see is that more and more people say, I am an offset printer and probably I will keep one offset press but the three others probably will be replaced by something like this. Mm. For them, it is something they really start to understand that the quality is there and printing from a reel is not scary. It, is, it, it needs sometimes a different mindset. But if I look at our printers, we see book printers, we see the offset printers. They say, I want to print brochures, leaflets, postcards, everything, mm. books. Typical book printers who really see that printing from a reel inline finishing or near line finishing mm. is absolutely bringing so much value. Mm. Do you think, I mean, because I, one of the trends that I see a little bit when it comes to, let's say, short runs, mm. is that it ha the market has opened up for, let's say, private consumption of print, a uh, small run for yep. small business and all that. Because, I mean, that is like where, where digital is really an asset because you can yep. make high quality, fast turnaround time and different formats and all this. Is that also what is driving the... the absolutely, the absolutely. Mm -hmm. For example, we have a printer in Germany who's completely focused on medical leaflets. Mm -hmm. And they tell their customers now, how many do you want? And the customers say, well, 1,000, otherwise it's too expensive. And he said, no, how many? You want 78, you yeah. will get 78. Yeah, yeah. And don't care about your stock. Yeah. There is no stock anymore. Yeah. So different applications, mm. but in the end, the same solutions, the same answers. Mm. One thing you, we have not met since COVID, 
Yep. But I can tell you one thing I always ask uh, the, the OEMs that produces this machine, is now the time for change to inkjet for an offset printer? I would say 100% full confidence. Mm. But you have to take a look into what they really need. Yeah. It is simple to say, this is perfect for you, but it also means that sometimes you have to invest in finishing equipment. Yeah. Your whole workflow could change. Yeah. But more what about business models? Because that is also sometimes when you talk digital, we talk about the digital transformation, we talk about variable data, and how do you get that variable data and these kind of jobs. So I was just thinking that maybe there's also that layer of understanding a, a new a business model, a right? Absolutely. It's also that probably you have to find new salesmen or other salesmen yeah. to try to sell this. Yeah. It is something different. So this is so when I ask the right answers, maybe for still, is it like a little bit of a parallel between the analog world and the digital world? Or okay, so um, one thing is that we talk about the, that that this could be the type of customer investing in this. Have you already got like the pizza customers or the real customers in the market for the 560 HCX? No, or? we are really launching it here now. Okay, so it is brand new. It is brand new, okay. absolutely new. And yes, we have already a few candidates that say, this is my machine. So you will, instead of news, having sold on it before the end of the show? Oh no, you don't know. It's, okay. it's, it's not, let's say, our, our I star. Our I star. know, but I'm but, just joking. But, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yes, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. We, have, we have many very happy HD users who are looking for the next level. Yeah, yeah. And they know exactly what the current machines do. Yeah. They look at this, the more automation, yeah. the newer colors, yeah. and they will say, this is my next one. Yeah. So that's, how fast is the machine compared to the 520? Basically, mm -hmm. the same maximum running speed, 150 meters. Mm -hmm. But what is very interesting, on the HD, our maximum quality could be achieved at 50 meters a minute. This uh, one at 100 meters a okay. minute. So that basically, because then you can decide how much ink you want to jet uh, to make that maximum quality. Exactly. Uh, exactly. So is it that, I mean, you said it's different printheads. Are the printheads like higher DPIs or is it uh, just faster because the technology continued to develop or? Continue to develop. Yeah. So the same resolution, 1200, 1200. Yeah. But also to make that possible at a higher speed, you need a different drying. So we developed a complete new drying system. And maybe you say, what's exciting about a drying system? If I tell you that. I think it's pretty essential for inkjet, right? It is, yeah. it is extremely essential, so you know yeah. that. So. Yeah. I am extremely excited about this new drying system. It's very, uh, I would say, uh, efficient in a way that it is can be selected on the paper width. Okay, it can so be adjusted on the amount of ink. On so it is. So that basically means that if you have that customer that wants to use even it's a full color machine and use it for black and white uh, medical, uh, you only have to dry it at that space exactly, where you need it. Basically. Exactly. Exactly. So the automation is to the next level. That, I, I, you know, I have, uh, I have been with so many printing companies, both in Europe and the U.S., that are using uh, screen printers, and I have never heard anybody complaining about it. So that must be like a very nice starting point for a new technology like this to bring to the market, right? It is. We even this afternoon there was a guy who said, "I'm not sure, but is 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 this is this the same company as Dynipon Screen?" Yes, it is. We is named, it? Yeah, okay, so I that said, was the name in the old times. Was the name in the old times? Okay. And he said, I, "I still have this old old scanner." He said, I'm not sure I'm ready for this, but if I buy something, it will be screened. Mm -hmm. And that is what we see with our customers, very, very loyal. And like I said earlier, we are still the only one who can still provide their CTP device, re uh, workflow and inkjet. I can't so, help think about it because I spoke to one of your competitors once that is also doing uh, 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 plates, right? Yeah. And I was asking them, I mean, it must be a great situation to have, let's say, the data from the consumption of plates and have that understanding yeah. to see when you are ready to replace and, and, and offer, let's say, alternatives like this. That must be a, a quite unique situation that the purely digital don't have, right? Yeah, that is absolutely true. Mm. That is absolutely true. And like I said, we, we have very loyal customers that we are guiding because it is also hand-holding, it's guiding. Because if, I always say to my sales guys, if there is an offset printer coming to Drupal to buy a new offset press, he knows exactly what he wants. Six color, eight color convertible, coat or whatever. And you this, know that because you've been a printer yourself, right? Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But for this, it is a big step for the company. Yeah, yeah. That could be a killing yeah. if they make the wrong, the wrong move. Oh, yeah. So that's why we really try to explain, not telling only how nice it is, but yeah. also what it means to have a device like this, yeah. to feed it with jobs day yeah. in, day out. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Morten. Nice talking to you. Great, thank you. Thank you. See you soon.